The earthquakes have left Syrians with very little infrastructure and support. And because of the unsanitary conditions, there is a fear of the spread of cholera. The disease is caused by eating and drinking contaminated food or water. A real risk here in the camps for those displaced by the civil war and now the earthquakes. Cholera is a fatal disease. We fear the outbreak of the disease, especially since hygiene and sanitary works have been halted for 10 days. We're not supplied with clean water and wastewater can't be drained away. We call on relief agencies to act swiftly. There are concerns that camps lack enough resources to handle an outbreak. All camp residents fear the spread of cholera, especially in the absence of necessary medical arrangements or required medical crews. The disease is likely to spread as people share toilets, which are few in number, toilets are very old, a shortage of water and other disinfectants and cleaning materials are also a factor. A cholera treatment center has been set up. It's basic, but it's all they can manage here. We had previous cases of cholera, and it is exacerbated after the recent earthquakes. The quakes damaged the sewage systems and water pipes, which resulted in higher numbers of cholera infections. The number of positive cases is on the rise, especially within the camps. For those affected, this facility is a lifeline. Following the earthquakes, we moved to one of the camps. My son had fever, stomach ache and diarrhea. He was also vomiting constantly. This is when we realized he had cholera. We tried some drugs from the pharmacy, but there was no response. So we came here. It's the absence of clean drinking water and cleaning materials. Also, shared toilets are among the reason for the spread. There is a drive now by aid agencies to provide help to these people. And there's hope it will come sooner rather than later, before the disease spreads, adding to the Syrians' plight. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera.